The Wisconsin primary is just a week and a day away, and each day this week on the Dan O'Donnell Show, we are talking with one of the eight candidates who's running for lieutenant governor. Think of it as Wisconsin's vice president. It's a role that doesn't have any real official duties, which means the lieutenant governor is free to make of the office what he or she deems appropriate. There are eight Republicans vying for the office. Eight will square off in next Tuesday's primary. And the first one we talk to today is State Senator Roger Roth. Sir, welcome to the program. Do appreciate you coming on. Yeah, glad to be here, Dan. So first, I want to give you a minute or so to just introduce yourself to voters. Who is Roger Roth and why does he deserve your vote? Sure, appreciate that. Well, I'll tell you, I'm a third generation home builder, grew up in the Fox Valley, spent my whole life here building houses, helping people achieve their American dreams, spent the last 17 years in the Wisconsin Air National Guard at our fighter wing down in Madison, deployed to Iraq three times, uh, working on the ejection seats and canopies of the F-16s. Now I'm a public affairs officer, a captain in the Air National Guard. And my wife and I, we've got five amazing little boys that we homeschool up here in the Fox Valley. Um, they are our pride and joy. They are the reason uh, that we live. And they, quite honestly, are the reason I'm running for lieutenant governor, not just for my boys. But for all of our kids and grandkids, education is so important. I'm talking to parents who are frustrated from one side of our state to the other. We're going to fix education here in Wisconsin and so many other things, and we're going to start that process in eight days when we conservatives put Tony Evers on notice. How do you believe your experience as a member of the Wisconsin Senate will be an asset to your run for lieutenant governor and if you're elected lieutenant governor how do you see that experience being beneficial to a republican administration absolutely so in the military we have this saying called writing your own billet and what that means is you go out there and you see something that you see a job that is not being done you can write your own job description you get a commander to sign off on it and you've just created a new job for yourself lieutenant governors you mentioned no statutory duties what do you do well it's up to the governor and i'm telling you the experience i've had in the legislature on all the issues that our candidates are campaigning on right now. These are issues that I've authored or led on in the legislature. Universal school choice, a bill I authored got passed, Evers vetoed. Parental bill of rights, bill I co-authored, Evers obviously uh, uh, not in favor of. Elimination of uh, or breaking up the Milwaukee public schools into uh, four or six districts, a bill I co-authored, civil service reform. All of these issues are things I've led on. Elimination of the state income tax. So I look at working with an next governor. And this is their agenda. I've, I've heard them all. These are the things they want to do. And I, I expect that they, I will be helping them move legislation through the legislature as I've been able to do successfully as a senator and get their agenda done quickly. It's obviously the governor's call, whether that is Tim Michaels or Rebecca Clayfish, as to what you do with your time as lieutenant governor. What would you do were the decision solely up to you? How would you use that office? I would use it, uh, as I alluded to before, I want to help them in the legislature. You know, none of them, none of the two that you've mentioned have legislative experience. Rantham certainly does, but the other two don't. I want to be able to help them move their agenda and get it done quickly in the first 100 days here within the Capitol. And then secondly, none of them, none of the people running for governor have ever served a day in the National Guard. I've served 17 years. They will all be the commander in chief of over 10,000 National Guard forces the day they get inaugurated. I expect to be and hope to be the principal advisor to them on all National Guard issues here in the state of Wisconsin. And those are experiences that I uniquely have and that I can help. You know, this is about moving Wisconsin forward, bringing that change. I've got the experience to stand behind them and beside them and get it done.
You are one of two state senators that are currently in this race. I don't want you to focus specifically on the other one, but you've made a big deal about your legislative experience that you're going to be the one to be able to, you know, effectively work with the legislature on top priorities so that the new governor could hit the ground running. What makes you uniquely able to do so as opposed to any of the other candidates in this race? Like, why are you the one that needs to be on that ticket? Because just before you answer, I just want to make sure everybody's clear. The way this works in Wisconsin, Lieutenant Governor is a very unique elected office in that you run in a partisan primary. So Roger would have to defeat the other seven candidates. If, for example, he's elected, he is added to the ticket, much like the president and the vice president. The difference is the president selects his running mate who becomes vice president. The governor in Wisconsin does not. So if you win this primary, Roger, you are added to the ticket. Correct. Assuming, as I think you want to assume, that the Republican will win the governorship, why are you uniquely able to benefit that gubernatorial administration? Well, two things I would say. First, uh, pre-election, I'm the one candidate that can help our governor defeat, governor candidate, defeat Tony Evers this November. In fact, I think I'm the only one. You know, you can't win statewide without winning Northeast Wisconsin. We hear a lot about the wow counties. They're very important. We need them to turn out, as they always have, to compensate for the votes coming out of Milwaukee and Dane County. But if you go back 20 years, you cannot win statewide without winning the bow counties. Brown, out of Gamey, Winnebago. I am rock solid in Northeast Wisconsin. Myself, Roger Roth, being on the ticket as lieutenant governor with whomever our governor candidate is, increases our chances of winning this November in that's what it's about, defeating Tony Evers. And then uh, to your next point, after Inauguration Day, we've got to move. People want us, they want to see change. That's why they're going to vote for change this November. They want us to move. I've led on all of the conservative issues that those running for governor are espousing right now. I know how to get those bills passed because I've gotten them passed, only to have a Democratic governor veto them, like universal school choice. And we will move on those bills in these first 100 days and deliver for the people of Wisconsin again. There are a lot of conservatives, Republicans in this state, who feel as though the state legislature hasn't done enough on issues regarding election integrity, certainly on uh, shutting down Governor Evers' move towards more tyrannical rule with the lockdowns and all of the things that he did on COVID-19. As a member of the legislature, do you believe that any of those critiques are valid? I understand people's frustrations. Absolutely, I do. But we have the rule of law here in our state, and I want you and all of your listeners to know that every time Evers exceeded his constitutional authority, we sued him in court and we won. The least talked about thing right now in politics in our country is the fact that in 2020, there was only one politician that was a threat to democracy in America, and it wasn't Donald Trump. It was Tony Evers. He canceled an election. And if it wasn't for us in the legislature suing him in the United States Supreme Court, he would have denied every right. Wisconsin citizen the right to vote. That is why I'm running. Those are the experiences that I've, I've had pushing for the Constitution, pushing for freedom, pushing for liberty. Change is coming. We will defeat Tony Evers this November. And I can promise you that if I'm the lieutenant governor on the ticket. You actually make a great point. It was an act of the United States Supreme Court that actually reinstated that April uh, presidential primary, the spring election, right after the coronavirus state of emergency. Uh, people do forget that. And the state legislature certainly did fight on that that on the extension of Governor Evers' Safer at Home order and on the mask mandate extensions of the Safer at Home order as well. Lieutenant Governor Candidate Roger Roth joining me on the Dan O'Donnell Show. Sir, where can people find out more about your campaign? Yeah, you can go to our website, Roth for Wisconsin, R-O-T-H, 
forwisconsin.com. You can get all the information there, or you can just tune into your show. You've got insightful commentary. We've got ads playing all over WISN, television ads playing throughout Wisconsin. We are committed. We are going to bring this change this November. I want you and your listeners to know that I am fighting from one side of the state and the other for our Constitution, for our freedom. We're going to get this done. Change is coming. Roger Roth, thank you so much for joining me. Really do appreciate it. We are having each and every one of the eight lieutenant governor candidates on. Coming up next hour, Cindy Werner here on the Dan O'Donnell Show.